With their leaders behind bars for the rest of their lives, members of the Texas Mexican Mafia continue to follow the gang's constitution, committing crimes on the street to benefit themselves and those who are behind bars. But there's one thing that helps law enforcement continue to make cases against them, and that's the lengthy paper trail they leave behind. Well, they take minutes, just like uh, in a corporate board meeting. They have people, secretaries, take minutes, and they approve of the minutes. And uh, there are certain things that don't get put down on paper, but there's things where they want to have a clear understanding of what's going on, and that'll be written down. That's one way federal authorities took down high-ranking members of the gang in the 90s. An indictment against then-General Robert Beaver Perez says he and other members of the gang corresponded by letter. Their writings often copied and forwarded to other members serving time. In this case, the letters were found stashed around San Antonio, a home on West Craig, letters detailing the gang's power struggle after President Herb Huerta gave a woman known as La Princesa a leadership role. More letters at Perez's home on Arbor Spring and a storage unit on North General McMullen calling Huerta's decision, quote, a grave mistake. Huerta's alleged response, sending orders from behind bars to have rival members killed. Jailed members also wrote about their dissatisfaction with how little of the dime was reaching them in their cells. They don't always make their business easy for law enforcement to follow. When you take this off, then you have a written code behind there, which you then have to try to break. Just last year, sheriff's investigators found a ledger in a drug investigation. It reportedly listed Balcones Heights police officer Julian Piscina. He was murdered a few days later. As far as made members, um, they want to know who the made members are and who is the bad members, members in bad standing. And those people appear on rosters, on hit lists if they're bad. And if they're uh, on the good list, then they don't, they basically are untouchable. They have also found a way to avoid putting things in writing. A lot of times they'll have visitors come up, and so they're doing it verbally or by hand signs. Uh, that's one of the reasons why gangs invented hand signs is to communicate. They know deaf, mute sign language. When they are direct in their communication, the talk often comes down to the heart of their constitution, making money and showing respect to those who are in charge.